Hello one, welcome to Career Deep and myself Mohan Rajamani. If you are preparing for Wipro NLTH, then this session is exclusively for you. At bottom of the screen, you are looking something, right? So that is actual syllabus of Wipro NLTH examination and it carries five parts, quantitative, logical reasoning, verbal ability, essay writing, as well as coding. And you are looking the total number of questions for each section on right hand side. Do you know what could be the expected minimum expected cutoff for Wipro NLTH examination? So it will be around 70 percentage. Now, how to stand unique in examination? How to clear, crack the examination? So we are here to help you out. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss most repetitive questions of Wipro NLTH. And this is going to be the model questions. You can expect similar kind of questions in your examination. So without wasting any time, let us enter into our first question. So here you have the first question. What will be the remainder when 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 0 divided by 9? So when you divide this bigger number by 9, what is the remainder? We know the divisibility criteria of number 9, quality of number 9. How to check whether a number is divisible by 9 or not? We have to add all the digits, right? So if the sum is equivalent to uh, the number which is divisible by 9, then the complete series is divisible by 9. So here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 plus 1 plus 0. So if you add everything, what do you get? 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 6, 21. 21 plus 7, 28. 28 plus 8, 36. 36 plus 9, uh, 45. 45 plus 1, 46. 46 plus 0, it's 46. Now, what is sum of this number? 46. Now, when you divide 46 by 9, so 5 9s are 45, the remainder is 1. So the actual remainder for this number is equivalent to 1. So this becomes your answer. So it is very simple, right? So this is the actual quality of the number 9. So you have to add all the numbers and divide it by number 9. I mean, you have to add all the numbers and divide the number by 9. So what is the remainder? And that is the actual remainder for the given series. So this is the most repeated kind of questions for your Wipro NLTH. Now question number 2. If x, y, z are divisible by 7, with which of the following numbers will x, y, z be divisible? So you have three numbers and all the three numbers are divisible by 7 separately. Now, if you multiply all the three numbers, then definitely that number will be divisible by which number? And you have four options, 3, 4, 3, 4, 1, 9, 4, 4, 1, 5, 7, 6. Now, we know x is divisible by 7. So if x is divisible by 7, y is divisible by 7, and z is divisible by 7, then definitely that number will be the multiple of 7, right? So 7 into x. So if value of x is 1, then 7 into 1 is 7. So 7 is divisible by 7. So if value of x is 2, 7 into 2, 14. 14 is divisible by 7, right? So likewise, y will be multiple of uh, 7 as well as z will also be multiple of 7 because all these numbers are separately divisible by 7 that is given in the question yeah now if you multiply all these number what do you get 7 into 7 into 7 you get 343 x y z now we don't know what is the value of x y z but definitely 343 into x y z will be divisible by 343 right so definitely that is divisible right so answer for this question is 343 so this is also one question that was asked in last year Wipro NLTH. Now, question number three. The average of 10 numbers was 50. Each number was increased by 20 percentage, then decreased by 10 percentage, and then pi was added. Find the new average. See, this question is based on average. The average of 10 numbers was 50. So what is average of 10 numbers? Totally, you have 10 numbers and its average is 50. Then what is sum of all these 10 numbers? So 10 into 50. So we know average equal to sum of all observations by total number of observations. So here you have 10 numbers and totally average is equal to 50. With this, you can find the sum, right? So sum equal to average into total. So it is 500. Now you found sum of all the 10 numbers is 500. Now you are increasing each number by 20 percentage. Then decreasing each number by 10 percentage then adding 5 to each number. Now you have to find what is the new average. Now, if you increase each number by 20 percentage, the total sum will also increase by 20 percentage. When you decrease each number by 10 percentage, then the total sum will also decrease by 10 percentage. 
Yes or no? So here the sum is 500. Now, if you increase each number by 20 percentage, the sum will also increase by 20 percentage. So 500 into, so if it is increased by 20 percentage, the actual value is 100 percentage. Now you are increasing it by 20 percentage. So it is 120 by 100, right? After increasing from that number, you are decreasing by 10 percentage. Now, if you solve it, you will get a value right from that. You are decreasing a 10 percentage. So it will be 100 minus 10, 90 by 100. Now, if we cancel this, we get 0, 0, 0, 0, cancel. So 5 into 12, 60, 60 into 9, 540. So what is 540? So 540 is the new sum after increasing the number by 20 percentage and decreasing the number by 10 percentage. Now you have one more hint, then 5 was added. So 5 was added with what? So 5 is added with all the 10 numbers. So totally you have 10 numbers, right? So now 5 is added with all the 10 numbers. So if you add 5 with all the 10, 10 numbers, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus till 10 numbers. So in simple, we can say 5 into 10, 50, right? So you have to add 50 with this 540 because after increasing 20 percentage, decreasing 10 percentage, you are adding 5 with each number. So it will be 50, 540 plus 50, you get 590, right? So 590 is the new sum, but you are supposed to find the new average. So average equal to sum of all observations by total number of observations. So 590 divided by 10 numbers you have. So if you cancel it, you get 59. So 59 is your new average. So this becomes your answer. Yeah. Now moving to next question. So before moving to next question, I hope you have seen this flyer. So this is our actual Wipro NLTH preparatory course. So it is a 10 hours package and it covers quantitative aptitude, reasoning, verbal and essay writing. So if you have a mobile phone, yes, you can access this uh, material, right? So we have provided the link in description. So this is completely for benefit for benefit of the students. So that's the reason we have fixed only 99 rupees. Okay, now moving to question number four. Work efficiency of two persons in the ratio two is to three. Work assigned to them is in the ratio four is to five. Find the ratio of time taken by them. Okay, now you have work efficiency. So what is efficiency of two persons? Two is to three. So this is efficiency of work of two people. So we can name them A and B. Now work assigned to them in the ratio four is to five. Now what is the work allotted to A and B? So four is to five. So we can do, we can uh, keep in mind like this. So total work allotted to A is four parts four units. Okay. Now A could complete two units per day. So in how many day A will complete the total work? So in one day, if he complete two units, four work will be, uh, four units will be completed by A in how many days? So four by two. Yeah. Four by two days, right? So in simple two days, in one day, two units, in two days, four units, that's it. Now B will complete five units in how many days? Three days. So in how many days uh, B will complete the total work? 5x by 3. Now it is very simple. If you cancel this, it's two times. Now you have 2 is to 5 divided by 3. You should not have dena I mean uh, denominator value, right? So what you can do, multiply this by 3 into 3. Uh, yeah, divided by 3. And uh, yeah, if you do this, then you can cancel 3 and 3, right? So 3 into 2, 6 and you have five parts. So six is to five is the time taken by both of them to complete that job. So six is to five is the time taken ratio. Hope you are clear, right? So it is very simple. Now moving to question number four. During new admissions, the strength of a class increases by 10 percentage, but in the final examination, 10 percentage of the newcomers fail and thus drops the class. If the original strength of the class was 400, what would be its strength after one year? Okay, during the admissions, the strength of the class is increased by 10 percentage, but in final examination, it decreases by 10 percentage. Now, if the original strength is 400, now what is the original strength? It is 400, right? So this is 100 percentage. Actually, this is 100 percentage, right? Now, during the admission, it is increases by 10 percentage. So from this 400, during the admission, it will increase by 10 percentage. So what is 10 percentage of 400? So 10 percentage of 400 is very simple, 40, right? So 40 people will increase. So it will be 440, right? 10 percentage of the newcomers fail and thus drop the class. Okay. Now during the examination, 10 percentage of the newcomers will fail and they will drop out of the class. 
Now, totally, we have 40 people. They are newcomers, right? So in this 40 people, 10 percentage will fail. So what is 10 percentage of 40? So 10 percentage of 40 is nothing but four, right? So four, four people will fail. From this 440, four people will move out of the college or move out of this class, right? So it is 436. So 436 will be the strength after one year, right? So it is very simple, 400 people we have. So from that, during admission, 10 percentage will increase. So 40 people will increase. So 440 is the strength. Now, during the examination, 10 percentage of the newcomers will fail. So newcomers are 40 from the 10 percentage will fail. So 10 percentage of 40 is 4. So if you subtract 440 minus 4, 436, that will be your new strength after one year. It's very simple, right? Now, question number. Yeah, next question. A man goes to office with his friends on a car and come back by bus. It takes a total of one and a half hours. But if his friend drops him back home on car, it takes him only 30 minutes. How long will it take if he comes and goes on bus only? See, very simple question, right? And this kind of questions are very common in Wipro NLTH and you can expect similar kind of questions. So based on time, speed and distance, only basic level questions are asked. See, a man goes to office with his friend on car. So he is going to office in car and come back by bus. See, moving in car and coming in bus. And it takes him one and a half hours. But if his friend drops him back home on car, that is moving in car and coming in car, so totally two way, right? So in two way, if he travels in car, it will take him only 30 minutes. Totally, he will take only 30 minutes, right? That means for going 15 minutes, for coming 15 minutes. Now we identify time taken by the man to travel in car is only 15 minutes. So in first case, he traveled by car to office. So it will consume only 15 minutes and came by bus. So out of one and a half hours, that is one hour, 30 minutes. Uh, he covered the entire journey. I mean, uh, the entire journey was covered in one hour, 30 minutes. So out of that one hour, 30 minutes, he traveled 15 minutes in car. So remaining one hour, 15 minutes, right? So one hour, 15 minutes. So one hour, 15 minutes in the sense. So one hour is 60 minutes, 60 plus 15, 75 minutes. He traveled in bus. Yeah. Now our question is how long it will take if he goes and come in bus one day. So he want to go in bus and come in bus, right? So for going, he will take 75 minutes for coming. He will take 75 minutes. So 75 plus 75, 150 minutes he will take to travel in bus. So it's a very simple question, just a subtraction question, right? You can expect this kind of questions. Okay, now moving to next question. If cost price is 130 percentage of selling price, what is the loss percentage? See, it's Vipro NLTH. So cost price is 130 percentage of selling price, what is the loss percentage, right? So cost price is more than selling price, so definitely it is a loss. So what is that loss percentage? So we can solve this problem using our simple percentage concept. We have discussed the concept in our percentage, right? Okay, now selling price is 30 percentage of, I mean, uh, cost price is 130 percentage of selling price. If you keep selling prices 100 percentage, cost price is how much, how many percentage higher? 30 percentage higher. Yes or no? So if selling price is 100 percentage, then cost price is how much higher? 30 percentage higher. <clears throat> now, if it is 30 percentage higher, then selling price is how many percentage lesser? So this is our concept. So 30 percentage higher means so you can cancel this. So it is 3 by 10 higher. So cost price is 3 by 10 higher comparing to selling price. So it's a shortcut, right? Now selling price is how much lesser? Now we have to decrease the fraction. To decrease the fraction, you have to increase the denominator. So you have three in numerator. So write that three as it is. Now to decrease the fraction, increase the denominator. So how much you have to increase? How much ever in numerator? So you have 10 in denominator, 10 plus three, it is 13. So three by 13. So three by 13 is what percentage? So three by 13 into 100. So three by 13 into 100. Now see, it will consume little time. So what we can do, we know one by 13 is 7.69 percentage. Then what is three by 13? So simply we can multiply the 7.69 by three. So nine threes are 27, carry over two. Six threes are 18, 18 plus two, 20, carry over two. Seven threes are 21 plus two, 23. So it is 23.07 percentage. 
So selling price is 23.07 percentage lesser comparing to cost price, and that is your actual loss percentage, right? So how much ever lesser will be loss percentage, right? So 23.07 percentage, the selling price is lesser than cost price, so that is your loss. So our answer is 23 percentage. So this becomes your answer. I hope you are clear with the problem, right? Okay. Yeah, I think you are clear with the uh, level of difficulty of Wipro NLTH quantitative aptitude question. And uh, here we have the package Wipro NLTH. I have included the link in description. See validity of the package is only three days and you could be one among our 10,000 plus benefited students last year, right? So on our training, like till now we have trained around 10,000 plus students uh, who are working with reputed organization. So we want to see you in the 10,000 and we are expecting your feedback in our mail. So if you purchase our course, yes, you will be getting our mail ID access. Yes, you can communicate to us. And thanks a lot for your patience. Have a great day and all the very best for your Wipro NLTH examination.